What's up YouTube? This is Rabe again. And today we're going to be checking out Creo Transformers Stealth Bumblebee. Um this set I have not yet opened or ever built or played with, so uh it's going to be completely new for me and uh Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we'll get something cool. Uh, so here's the box. Uh, it's uh, set number 98814, uh, Stealth Bumblebee. It comes with four crayons. Uh, you've got Bumblebee, Security Guard, Biker, Security Guard, and Bulldog. All right. Uh, you can see right here the Bulldog is chasing Bumblebee around. Uh, barking at its heels, and uh, so there's there's the box art. It has 257 pieces. Uh, this looks kind of like in the middle of the first two Bumblebee sets. Uh, you had the really big one, and then the really small one, uh, and this one looks like it's kind of like smack in the middle of those two, uh, as as far as size goes. Uh, you can see. We've got on the side a picture of Creon Bumblebee here, and it looks very much like a uh, like a Prime inspired design with the the face and the eyes. It's kind of kind of weird looking with the eyes, but we'll we'll see how he looks in person. Uh, here's the back of the box, Stealth Bumblebee. Um, now all the pictures that I've seen, this guy looks kind of spindly, so that they have him hunched over here, and that that may be why, but. Uh, Looks like you get this little, uh, like, checkpoint or whatever it is, and uh, a bunch of security guards, of course. Uh, Bumblebee over here and in the corner. The uh, the Energon chest piece that you can pop in there. And, uh, of course, it comes with one of the uh, pieces of the Ultimate Dark Energon weapon. Uh, so, And this was the last set that I needed. I actually got this on sale. Um... And uh, it was the last piece of the Dark Energon weapon that I, that I didn't have yet. So uh, I'm going to crack this guy open. And we're going to take a look at what we've got inside. Okay, so inside the box we have pieces. And... Uh, not a whole heck of a lot of pieces, but, you know, we'll take a quick look at them. We've just got a couple of bags. They're not numbered or anything. I don't I don't think Creo has ever had numbered bags. Uh, got rubber tires. That's cool. So we got one, two, three, four, five bags of pieces. We've got one sticker sheet. Which, you know, okay, stickers. Uh, Creo t uses the um, paper stickers, which I don't like at all. Uh, they have a tendency to peel and get scratched and just get damaged very easily. And uh, I really wish they would convert to just clear, clear, more plastic uh, stickers rather than these white paper ones, because they, they just don't look good to me. Um, you get a decent sized base plate, which, uh, that's cool. And one instruction booklet. And, uh, yeah, it's got the build for the little guard tower, and Bumblebee here, and of course a parts list in the back. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put this guy together, and then we'll take a look at the finished product uh, in vehicle mode first. And uh, I'll see you guys then. So we have, uh, let's start Let's start with the, uh, the crayons here. Uh, so we get, first of all, we get this little biker guy. Uh, he's in a sweet, sweet little lime green outfit. And it does not want to focus on him. There we go. Um, he's got a lift-up visor, uh, which is actually pretty nice looking. I like the way that it fits on the helmet. And uh, he's got a super angry face, almost constipated. 
Uh, he's got this little handgun, which I don't, I don't think I've ever seen uh, in a Creo set before. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. He's got that little accessory, and uh, no back printing. Uh, there is a little bit of printing on the helmet, and that's kind of cool. And that's him. Uh, you also get security guard A with his uh, pump action shotgun there. Uh, he's got his little helmet. And that's it for that. And security guard B, who's uh, more heavily armed, he's got an automatic rifle here and uh, a flak jacket as well. And he's got quite the smirk going on here. And uh, I don't know if the same. No, it's different. Different torso printing on that. Very, very plain uh, torso printing. And that's uh, that's him. Very exciting. Uh, on to Bumblebee. I, this is a new Bumblebee crayon, and uh, he's kind of weird looking honestly I mean he's got these sort of just staring eyes like a doll's eyes just staring at you uh, he reminds me of something I can't remember I can't place exactly what he reminds me of but uh, it's something <laughs> uh, he only has one hand his other hand is a uh, is a blaster um, and it does come with this extra piece that you're supposed to stick on the end of it, but I don't know. I just think that kind of makes makes the blaster look a bit too long. Like it doesn't no longer really fits in with the figure because now it's, it just hangs down a little bit too low for my taste. Um, one word of caution uh, in in putting in putting this piece on. It was very, very tight, and uh, I did notice that it it uh, causes a stress mark on the piece itself. Uh, stress marks, I should say, in a few places here. So, I mean, just just be mindful of that. Otherwise, he's got some very nice, very nice printing on his chest, and even printing on his knees, which is always a nice touch. And uh, yeah, that's about it for him. Also in this set, you receive this little guy, uh, this little bulldog, um, and he's okay. He's cute. Um, it's a little weird. You can you can pull his head off. I mean, I guess that's kind of normal. Um, but the the hole unfortunately is not placed in a way that it would look uh, look good on a, a, a crayon body. Uh, nor would a Creon head look very good on, on the dog body. It is just hollow underneath. Um, so you couldn't really just stand it up and have uh, a Creon head on there to be crazy. But I guess you could stick one up here. And that would look all kinds of wrong. But uh, I'm a little bummed that this is not printed or painted in any way. It's just plain brown. And the... Uh, I don't know. It's not... It's not bad, but uh, it could have been could have been a lot nicer. But you get the bulldog. <sighs> Let's see what else. You also receive in this set this little thing that I dropped. Uh, this little Soundwave cassette player. Uh, it's just it's a little micro build and a sticker and. I think it's cute. I mean, you know, they didn't have to add this in, but I think it's a nice touch. Um, it doesn't really add anything to the set, but uh, it's appreciated. It makes me feel a little bit better about actually, uh, you know, paying. Well, I only paid like thir you know, fifteen dollars or something for the set, so I don't, I don't feel too bad. But that's that. You get that little guy, and of course the. Pieces to the Dark Energon Ultimate Weapon. Um, I went ahead and got uh, instructions for that thing, and I mean you could build it without the instructions, but I, I printed them out anyway just for to do a, a nice review uh, sometime later. But you get those 
Dark Energon pieces, and of course the uh, Energon chest for the crayons that I never use. Um, so those are the accessories and crayons. And let's move into the vehicles really quick, at least this, this vehicle. Um, you get this little green bike. It's composed of, I think, a total of five pieces. And uh, it's cute. It's nice. It's, it's for the green biker. And he fits on there. Uh, he actually he sits, sits on a little weird, but... But that's okay. We will forgive because it's, you know, little, little building block things. But that's... This is about as well as he gets on here. Uh, actually, I had him on a little bit better before, but maybe if I turn his hand around. No, not really. That's just how you get. He's doing stunts all the time. Woo! Um, but, it, you know, it's free rolling. It stands up fairly well um yeah and last but not least as far as extra stuff uh you get this little guard tower uh it's got a little raise and lower gate here um some lights it's got a pretty sweet gatling gun on the top here uh that can turn all the way around it's on a little ball joint uh so it can go pretty much anywhere you'd like for it to go uh, and then this super floppy radar dish, which is great. Good job with the quality control there, Creo. Uh, you get a little, a little barrel of a uh, hazardous chemical or flammable something or other. And uh, just inside, there's a little keyboard to nothing, which I, I guess the keyboard and that somehow raise and lower the, I don't know. Um, but that's pretty much it. You got a ladder on the side, a little clip for a gun or whatever. Eh, it's fine. And now, of course, on to Bumblebee himself. And, uh, I actually quite like this Bumblebee over the, uh, last two Creo uh, versions of him. Uh, at least in vehicle form. I haven't actually built the robot form yet, but, um, at least in vehicle form, it's, it's... A lot more compact than the huge gigantic one and it's a lot bigger than the tiny one and it's, it's just a good like middle ground uh, it looks a little bit better as far as scale to uh, the crayons like it'll look a little more normal in your Lego city it's still kind of big because most Lego cars are you know between four and six wide studs wide that is and I know this is six but it, it's you know sticks out an extra two because of the, the tires and I don't know it is, it, it is a little bit big compared to the, like other Lego brand uh, cars but it's not bad it, it's passable and uh, it certainly looks decent enough it looks like a muscle car uh, it's nice black and I, I like the yellow uh, stripes a little bit better even than the yellow and black stripes um, so as you can see, it's pretty, it's pretty simple. You got some decent detailing as far as all the, the lights and everything and the striping. Uh, you can pop the top off and, and stick a crayon in there. He won't, he won't stay in there because crayons don't, uh, stay seated, as I've mentioned before in other reviews, but you can stick one in there and the doors do, of course, open. And then the front, the grill is a sticker. And uh, actually, these stripes here on the front are also stickers. And let me just say something here. And I don't want to sound harsh or anything, but Hasbro, get your stuff together, guys, okay? These paper stickers have got to stop. You got to up the quality on this plastic, because for the most part, it's a little bit, gar it's a little bit garbage, but... The stickers, seriously, seriously, it's time for some better plastic stickers rather than these paper ones that just rip and fall off and are just awful. Uh, that being said, um, you do get uh, rubber tires, which is all, always a nice touch. Uh, couldn't swing that for 
Masterpiece Lambor, so, you know, it's nice to have it on a, a Creo set, I guess. <laughs> no, no, I'm just, now I'm just totally raging. Alright, um, but no, that's pretty much it for the car and the accessories and stuff, so... I'm going to go ahead and tear this guy down and rebuild him as the robot, and we'll take a look at him then. So, uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Did you know that for the cost of a cup of coffee every day, you too can feed this poor, starving robot? My gosh, everybody. Alright, so here we have... Stealth Bumblebee in robot mode, and, um, yep, and there he is, yeah, he, uh, he sure is a robot, so this, uh, this is just, I liked, I liked the car, uh, I thought it was pretty cool, this, this is just pitiful. All right, so uh, we'll go over the articulation and some things really quick. Uh, first thing I want you to see is that he's just using the same uh, bumblebee head that you get in the uh, the previous Creo bumblebee set. Um, so his head is a little bit big for his body. Uh, well, maybe not. I, his, his body is just a little bit small for his body. Uh, so, alright, articulation. He's got these little uh, flappy shoulder pads, uh, very similar to Creo Ironhide, but Ironhide certainly pulls it off a lot better. Um, in fact, let's get a quick, quick comparison here. So you can see... Bumblebee is taller, um, but Ironhide actually looks like a physical being and not just a uh, skeleton with some with some junk strapped to him. Uh, oh man, Ironhide is an awesome set. <laughs> I can't get enough of that. But... All right, but yeah, so articulation. He's got the he's got the flaps. Uh, his head is on a ball joint, as we're all familiar with. Um, ball joint shoulders, ball joint, uh, elbows, he has, uh, he's got the derpy Muppet hands, and, uh, those fingers are articulated for his derpy Muppet hands, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of these, uh, brick built hands at all, uh, he's also got on this on his right hand, he has a uh, Gatling gun, which you can you can turn, you can spin that if you so desire. It doesn't spin freely at all. It's quite it's quite uh, quite solid in there, stiff. Uh, but he does have that. He has a waist joint or waist ball joint, I should say, so he can uh, he can move all kinds of ways. He can he can do crunches. Uh, he can do matrix, and uh, yeah, it doesn't it it doesn't help. <laughs> his uh, his hips are ball joints, his knees are ball joints, his ankles are ball joints. You, you know the usual uh, Creo jointing system. And then on the the back here, he has little uh, little wingalings with his wheels on the end. I guess you could picture these as. Uh, thrusters or something if you so desired and he's got a square butt square butt um yeah so gosh he really is just really is just the scrawniest so here's Bumblebee in his robot form and it's it's really kind of sad that I had more to talk about his vehicle mode it seems uh, than his robot mode. Um, we'll do another quick comparison here. Uh, Bumblebee with the Optimus Prime. And again, Optimus looks like an actual 
uh, robot. He's definitely got some heft to him. I really do like this Prime uh, as well. I'll have to get a review up of, uh, of the set as well pretty soon. Um, but yeah, so that's the two of them together, and quite frankly, ugh. Ugh. So let me, let me get this all together, and I'll give you my uh, final thoughts on this set. So my final thoughts on this set. <clears throat> there are pros here, um, but they can't stack up to the cons. Uh, pros, um, his vehicle mode is pretty cool. I really do like that. Uh, you get the last piece to the uh, Dark Energon weapon. And this, honestly, is the only reason I purchased this set. And really, I didn't even purchase this set because uh, Toys R Us had a buy one, get one free uh, Creo set uh, promotion. And uh, I picked up the... Um, well, I picked up a set for my brother, and then I took this one as the, as the freebie. So I, I paid a little bit of money for that just to kind of split the difference, but it was like $15. Um... And for that, $15, I guess, is it's it's cool for this set. Because you do get this little uh, this little outpost here, uh, the the checkpoint or whatever you want to call it. You get four Creons, which is, a, you know, that's a decent amount. Um, you do get the motorcycle. Uh, you get the little dog, which is fine, I guess. Um, and the little sound wave thing, which is a cute little add-in. Um, but really, overall... Uh, Guys, don't don't pay full retail for this. It's just this is the, got to be the derpiest looking robot I have ever seen. Like, um, I was gonna go through the parts that it comes with. That's, that's something I do with most of my Creo sets. Is like I'll try and change how they look and make them look better, uh, at least more pleasing to me, using only the parts that they come with. And for the most part, I've been pretty successful in that. I, I, I really like how my Star Scream came out, and, and my Knockout, I think, looks a lot better uh, for it. But in this case, there's there wasn't a whole lot I could do. It just He just looks so, so, such, so disappointing. Uh, such a letdown. I mean, not really that much a letdown, because I wasn't really expecting anything. I can't, I can't, uh, with good conscience, recommend this set to anyone. Uh, even if you want to complete this, you could probably just get these pieces uh, cheap, just you know, separately online through eBay or, or if there's another like buy one get one free sale at Toys R Us, you can go ahead and and um, definitely pick up the Wheeljack and uh, Knockout set. I can recommend that, and then that is the same price as this one, so you'd get this one for free, and that would kind of uh, soak in the cost of uh, of buying this, but. Overall, the checkpoint's cute, but not really, not worth the, the cost. And the dog is unique, but again, it's kind of, it's not painted. It's hollow, completely hollow inside. And there's just not enough to this set to make it worthwhile. So, yeah, it's a bummer, but I mean, they can't, they can't all be winners. And, uh. You know, and the good the good thing about this is you get all the pieces. You do get a, a, um, a skeletal frame for a robot if you wanted to build one yourself, and that's always a plus. Um, so there's another there's another pro there. Uh, the motorcycle is pretty cool. Um, but that's gonna be it for this uh, this review. Uh, I want to thank you guys so very much for watching. Uh, definite shout out and thanks to all my subscribers and all my new subscribers. Um, you may have noticed that there are now ads running on my videos, and uh, I'm, I'm excited about that. I know it's an inconvenience for you guys, and for that I do apologize, but um, it does mean a little bit more money for me, which is going to definitely help um, in buying all this stuff to review and, uh, and to hopefully keep these, uh, keep these reviews going. Uh, I'm really excited about it. I have a really good time doing this, and uh, I hope you guys have a good time watching. So thanks so much for watching, as always. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and definitely subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Thanks so much. Take care.